What's poppin' you two? So you wake you six. What's goody? Good morning, by the way. Um, you could say what well, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm off today, so um I decided to do a couple of videos for you guys. Um this video is specific. I'm on the weather, you know what I'm saying? Got a stuffy nose, you know this weather, you know what it is, be getting you messed up. Um, this video is specific for my beginners. Uh, if you don't know, if you're swapping um, from braids or, you know what I'm saying, dreadlocks or whatever the cut you had to a uh, waiver, this is the process and the steps you got to take to become a waiver. I can tell you the steps. Just pay attention to what I'm saying. Follow the steps and repeat the steps every day so you can become uh, elite waiver faster. And you know what I'm saying? If you be precise with the brush and focus on your angles, you'll be fine. You're gonna get elite waves nice before you even think about them. So the first thing you gotta do, honestly speaking, is um let your hair grow. And how you know um the type of hair, the length that you need for your hair. As long as you use a comb, if you get a comb. I have a comb here. No, I don't have a comb. I gotta get a comb. But if you get a comb and you able to go through your hair, you know what I'm saying? Like wolfing type wolfing. If you got if you're a median like me, you need at least eight weeks of hair. You know what I'm saying? So you could wave up for the for the curling. If you on uh, uh, straight hair, you need you're gonna need at least um 12, 15 weeks for you to have that curling. Cause remember, you gotta brush your hair so you could be able to bounce it back and, and make that wave, you know what I'm saying? Come up. If you're straight, um, of course here, uh, you're gonna need at least, uh, let me guess, 10 to um, 15 weeks, pushing around, you know, three months. Cause uh, of course here, the hair is real thin, so, that's that's from what I learned. That's what I see the corset waivers uh, having a curling so it could be able to develop the waves. Uh, median, it takes, uh, it took me, um, you could say like eight weeks, eight weeks to like 12 weeks to get out of the curling. But some people, you know, grow hair. Um, some people hairs grow different. You know, like my hair in the back, it grows slower and the size it grows slower and the top, it grows faster. So it's it's a thing that you gotta study too, besides um, being a wave, you gotta study your hair to see where it grows faster. Now you know how to cut it when you go to the barber. The second thing that you gotta check is your crown location. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I'm a 540, so my crown is off center. So you gotta locate your crown. I'm gonna post a picture in the screen so you guys can see it. Um, first, locate your crown, cause depending on your crown, that's how you're gonna know how you're gonna brush your hair. Some people got it right in the center. You know what I'm saying? So it's beautiful. If you got it right in the center, it's, it's much you could do if you get it on behind. You know what I'm saying? So me, my crown is all center. So I decided to do a swirl cause my crown it's already swirly, so I didn't want to go against my crown. So I just, you know, I went clockwise with the with the crown, and I created a, a 360 with a swirl when I started, and then I switched it up uh, to 540 slanted, almost 720. So that was my decision because I didn't want to be annoying, you know, trying to break the my swirl. But hopefully in the future I'll probably get a 360 B hot off center, which is my crown is not in the center. So that's one of the tip you guys gotta pay attention to. You gotta look at your crown and study your crown. If your crown's in the center, God bless you. You could, all you gotta do is just follow the process. After you locate the crown, you gotta choose the pattern that you want. You know what I'm saying? They got 720, they got um, 540 with a slant, which is what I have. They got 360. They got 360 um, with a swirl. They got 360 hybrid, which is two patterns in one. You're gonna learn that in the process. And they um, they got 360 beehives, the most common one, which is open just like a beehive. So that's the patterns that you have in total. 
and 180, which is just the top. So it don't really count because 180 is just the top. When you connect your eight angles, that's, that's a 360. So in general, it's a 360 waves because you're connecting on angles. It don't matter if it's 720, 540, 360 with slow. At the end, it's eight angles and you got to connect them. That's why I call it 360 waves. So the next step that you're going to need, you're going to have to brush at least. If you, the faster, uh, the, the more you brush, the faster you're gonna get processed. It's real simple. The main key is not pomades, it's not moisturizers. That's that's to maintain your waves in the process. But for you to get waves, you gotta brush, okay? It, it, it don't, it's no excuses. You, you need a marrow and, and, and you need a brush. That's all you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? You get a medium brush, which is universal. You could control when you cut it 1.5 and when you woofing, you get a regular medium brush. We got two types of brushes in the medium. You got the medium soft and you got the medium hard. Based on my experience, okay? The medium that I got here, this one, this is a medium soft. I consider it medium soft. And for me right here, the one that I have here, this is a, right here, this is a hard brush. You can hear it. You can, you can hear the bristles, you see? So, and this is a, this is a, a softy. This is extra softy, okay? Torino Pro, by the way. Um, After that, after you figured it out already, all the steps, you know what I'm saying? Your crown, uh, your type of hair that you have. I already gave you the curling. Um, the brushing, which is, that's the main key, brush every day. Um, you need a mirror so you can see your back angles because you don't want to confuse your hair and create a lot of forks. And after you choose your pattern and everything, now you got to spend time on it. You got to decide, you got to create a schedule because having waves is like a, a new uh, a born baby. You got to be there for him, you know what I'm saying? You got to feed, you got to feed your hair with the brushing. You know what I'm saying? Same thing, you gotta spend at least one hour a day, half an hour a day. You could spend 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes at night, and I bet you you get progress. Boy, you gotta do it. You gotta you gotta be consistent with it. It's, it's like maintaining yourself, you know what I'm saying? You gotta eat every day to survive. So it's the same with the hair. If you don't brush, your waist they gonna they're gonna vanish and they're gonna go away. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you always gotta pull that hair, you know what I'm saying? Make that spring go back. Cause this is your hair, so when you brush it, it start going like this. You know, it becomes a wave. So the more you brush, is better. After you got your pattern done, all you gotta do is maintain. You know what I'm saying? 20, 20 minutes daily in the morning. You know what I'm saying? You could brush at least once a day. You don't have to brush the whole day. You just keep brushing once a day, one hour a day, 30 minutes a day. Just make sure you you, you hit all angles. And you'll be all right, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's easy to get waves. The hardest thing about wave is um connecting all your angles, flow with your pattern, and having an elite curling definition. That's what I learned in the process. I'm being a waiver, I'm going to a year being a waiver and I I like this game. That's the reason why I learned so much. So what I'm learning, I'm teaching you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my pattern. Um Shout out to my new subscriber, um, Stanley, for my job. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for subscribing. Shout out to my new subscribers. Shout out to my day one subscribers. You know the vibes. We're still going on. We're going to keep going. Let me show you guys my, my pattern. Oh, by the way, I dyed my hair. My girl, she dyed my hair. I dyed it um, red, but it, I dyed it like candy red, but I guess I'm going to have to do another dissection I did a two-tone as you can see I did I faded it black here well this is another thing you got to find your crown patch you know what I'm saying I copped this in a, in a page right here look you guys could go here and copy you see you guys could go here wave essentials you could copy 360 jewels promoting this you know what I'm saying? You could cop this too. So you could create one. I create this. I created the crown patch out of the dual rack. I didn't need it no more. And I created this patch. So it's no excuses, man. You could do it. You see my two-tone? I left the black and then I dyed it all around.
I'm still working on my crown. See right here, I had a fork right here. And he's moving down because I was brushing the wrong way. Right here. Right there, I had a fork. You see? It was crashing. This tool was crashing right here. And I figured it out that I was brushing wrong. So I started brushing the right way. You see, and it went, it went back down, so it's fading away. So it's connecting with this one right here. You see? I gotta let this hair grow a little bit here. If you see my previous video, I could show you the main fork that I have right here. And I finally broke it. It didn't take me long, to be honest. The main key was brushing the right way. That's what you got to do. Um, now I'm going to tell you, um, man, you got the flu, man. It's crazy. Your eyes get watery and it's annoying. Okay, the, the simple brushes that you could cop, you could get it for the 99 cents. They got the double brush, which is uh, it's two brushes in one. I call it double side. You see, it goes like this, a soft one and a hard one. You know what I'm saying? If you low budget, you don't got a lot of money, you could cop that brush. It's simple, you know what I'm saying? Help you out, it's a flat brush, it's like this. You could get it with two sides, with the soft and the medium, or, or hard and the medium. It's, decide what you wanna do, but I suggest you get a, um, a, a medium, you could get a medium and a soft because medium you could control the wolfing a little bit you could control when you cut it with a 1.5 okay i suggest don't get it hard yeah don't get it hard hard is when you going beyond when you wolfing when you already in in a new level this is for beginning okay get a brush double side if you don't got a lot of money that has the the medium and have the soft so you could control it because after you brush but with a medium, you want to keep your head laid down. So you want to use the soft brush so you could keep your head laying down. And after that, you, you could get products if you want. When you wolfing, when you have a lot of hair, you could cop this right here. This is Morris. Everybody know this product. This product is universal. I got the light one. Since I got a medium, medium hair, I cop the light one. They got the, the thick one, the extra strength. But I got the light one because I don't need a lot. Or you could cop this, which is is better than Morris. Base base on chemicals is better than Morris and it smells good. I use this when I'm wolfing. Okay, so it gives you a good smell. And you need a detangle brush right here. This is when you're washing your hair. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like a brush. All you're doing is detangling. You know, when you're scrambling, you're cleaning your hair and everything, taking all the products out. You grab this, so you could go with your pattern. You know what I'm saying? You brush it with your pattern. They sell different ones. This is the one that I saw. This is the one that I like. Because I, I got more control. You see? I could grab it better. So, you know what I'm saying? I could. I know what I'm doing. So, you could cop this. Or you could get a palm brush. This is one of my first brushes that I started. This is a Diane. I forgot the number because it faded. But this is a Diane. Diane something, I forgot, it don't even say it no more. My barber gave me this brush right here. So I started with this. And then you could go with oils. This is for shine. And this one, it helps me a lot. Cause this one, it has for dry hair, damaged hair, and for your scalp to keep your scalp moist. And you know what I'm saying? And that's what we need. You need to keep your scalp moist because if your scalp is moist, your waist is going to shine better and you don't, you won't have that dandruff in your hair. And this is the crown brush. This is what you use right here. I bought this a while ago. It has the cream inside. Look, you 
could cop if you want. They has been with me since I started being a waiver. So you can see it's crack. You see, it's been with me for a while, but it still works. You know what I'm saying? This is a medium one. You use it for your crown. You know what I'm saying? If you got a be hot, if you got a swirl like me, what I do is I, I, I go like this. If I got a, got a be hot like me, a, a swirl, I put it in my crown, right? And now I twist it. I twist it with my crown, go with my powder. So I could create a swirly around my crown. Okay, if you're a beehive, you just open your crown. That's a, that's what the beehive is. You open your crown and then you put the you put the the crown uh, the crown patch. If you got a lot of hair, you apply a little bit of this around your crown so the baby hair that you have it will lay down with this because this is what it do. It keep your hair from sticking up, so you keep it down because it's heavy. So you know what I'm saying. You see, it gets sticky. They keep your hair down. That's what the pommy does. Okay, but after you already got your wave powder and develop and everything is done, all you got to do, um, use the plastic bag. After you, after you done with this, well, after you done with your powder, with your brush section, you're about to rag up before you ragging up, you get a plastic bag, see black bag, okay? And yes, you know, slow. The same way you brush, it's the same way you want to do the plastic back. If you got a beehive, you do it from the crown out. Since I got a 540, you see I get close to my crown. I get a little bit close to my crown, and this is how I brush my 540. The same way you do it with the, with the plastic bag, you're going to do it with the... The same you do it with the um, brush, my bad. You do it with the plastic bag. The same flow, nothing changed. The only thing that you have in your hand is a plastic bag. You do the same, the same, the same process from the crown out. And that's how you do it. Okay, just make sure you follow the steps, you know what I'm saying, for you to become a waiver faster and you um, become elite faster. Just make sure when you choose a pattern, make sure you be specific. If you're choosing one pattern, stick with that pattern at least for one year. You know what I'm saying? If you want to change your angles or your pattern later on, do after one year. But remember, this is the side effects of having waves. When you start, they're going to look ugly because the waves start being created. So it's going to look a lot of ripples. You're going to see a lot of shadows, a lot of messed away, crashing with each other. That's part of the process. You have to be patient, okay? And you gotta be consistent. You gotta be precise with your brush. This is the this is the side effects of having waves, okay? You, got, you guys gotta understand, this waves is not gonna come from one year to another. If you guys know 360 Yeezy, the man being in the game over 10 years, pp to go, 360 Jules, you know what I'm saying? Lay the main goals, you know what I'm saying? And Sir Cruz. I've been, I've been watching this guy for a year. I've been a waiver for a year. So I've been watching them for a year and I see the journey. It, it takes time. You know what I'm saying? The same way you got, I started with a camera later on, I might get a better camera. It's the same thing. It's, it's stages, it's levels. So you have to be patient. If you want to be a waiver, you got to be patient. You know what I'm saying? So the ripples going to come in. You got to keep brushing. When you see the ripples, that's progress already. That means, you know what I'm saying? You brushing. Okay, so you're not gonna go out there, I'm oh you on brush every day when you got ripples. You lying to yourself. Feel me? So that's the ripple stage. After that, you're gonna see that waves coming up. So when you see the waves coming up, that's time for you to focus on your angles. Okay, when you see that waves already coming up like this, focus on your angles and now is the time to connect them. If you got a 360 beehive, remember you gotta connect them. 360 beehives like this. Okay, I'm gonna give you a breakdown by the way. 360 B high. Okay, 360 B high. You could go like this. That's one angle right here, right? And this is another angle right here. That's two. And then on top. On top, you go like this, right? And then this is the third angle. And then the top, normal forward. And the same thing on the other side. Forward, right? Right here, 
like this. Boom. You see? See what I'm doing? Boom, right here, like this. Boom. In the back, of course. Everybody knows that. Down. The back is the opposite of the top. Okay? Forward over here. Forward down. And then the crown. The crown you brush to separate. The crown is another section. You open it like a flower. And that's it. That's the 360 um, beehive breakdown. So I hope you guys paying attention to what I said. Rewind the video if you want to pay attention to the information I'm providing for you guys. This is how you become a waiver. This is the products that you need. This is the materials that you need. And you set to go. Yes, grab the brush, grab the mirror, have your car link and get to work. All right. Pay attention. It's your boy, your baby six. Thank you for the support. I'll see you guys in the next episode.